Hello everyone, my name is Sean, I am the Crypto Smith, and welcome back to the channel, and yes, I am still around, right? It's been a very long, drawn out uh, bear market, and it's basically affected everybody, but recently I'm working on getting my YouTube channel back together. I'm going to do more of a new style show a couple days a week here coming up. Uh, I, I don't know, I've got to set things up still. You know, I moved uh, my office uh, into a different room in the house, and I have to set that all up to make it a little more uh, recording friendly. Uh, and I got a new computer on top of that, so I've been reconf reconfiguring everything, right? It's been kind of a pain in the butt, but I am back, and we are going to talk about a token, a community project, basically, that's building a centralized exchange. It's going to be transparent, easy to use, easy for the new guys coming into the market uh, for this next bull run. And they are looking to drop their beta either this month or hopefully next month. Now, we can't rush that because you cannot rush technology. It's got to be done right. But they're going to drop the beta. That's going to be used for testing. We're going to get to be, uh, get in there, play around with it, uh, give some feedback, I believe. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. So what project am I talking about? It is KTO. That is the project. Kunatori. They are building the centralized exchange that we want to see. We want to see something easy to use. It's trustable. Uh, simple. They want to make a entry point where people can get into a trusted source that is transparent and it is easy to use. And it's going to have some benefits like staking, uh, maybe earn some rewards, uh, get discounts on your trading fees if you hold some NFTs uh, and things like that, right? That's that's really what we need in the space. Why is it taking so long? This project's been around for over two years. They're building behind the scenes, even though we don't see anything going on, you know, uh, in the in the forefront, they're back behind the scenes in their offices, cranking this thing out day after day after day. And we're going to get to see the fruits of that labor at some point in the near future. And I am excited about that. So now they've said they're going to drop the beta version, right? They, they can't give an exact date, right? But sometime it was mid-October last time I heard. But even if it's into November, I don't think that's uh, really much of a big deal because these things do take time. And we have to remember that this is technology. Uh, things happen. They can produce one item and that could create an, an issue uh, with other items. So, right, we don't really know what's going on. Uh, you know, on the programmer side of things. Uh, so we just have to be patient and wait for this. But what I wanted to bring to you, and if we scroll down all the way into their roadmap, which they call their flight path, uh, we're going to see where they are currently located. So we are phase, uh, th we've done some things on phase three. We, there's still obviously more building to do. But phase four, marketing campaign, beta testing, right? That's basically what we're looking at next. And then vetting small cap DeFi projects to list so that they can test the project, right? These will be some test cases. Uh, they're going to have to look at these projects, see what their tokenomics are, uh, see if they are a good project to list. So they will be hosting a special space featuring the first of our token partnerships. And those token partnerships are PaChain, Kawakami, Real Elmo ERC, Aviator AC, and Delta Flare. I do not really know anything about these projects. That's not what this one is about. Uh, but I am going to be there to listen to it, to really see what's going on, and get a good idea of how close they are to launching this beta. So here's the tweet that launched this uh, beta around the corner to celebrate we're hosting special space with some of our featured token partnerships. Don't miss it. Get in there and set yourself a reminder. I will put a link in the description down below, and I'll have another video here in the near future where we will talk about what's happening. Of course, as soon as any, I hear anything about the launch, I'm going to be dropping videos. And you, if you're wondering why I have not done more videos lately, it literally it is just because there is nothing really to talk about, right? They have their uh, weekly or bi-weekly meetings where they put out notes. You could go in the Discord and you can actually check that out and see what they're doing uh, behind the scenes in their meetings, what they're talking about, uh, who they're hiring, financing that has to go on. Uh, in order to continue to fund this project. Uh, that's also usually discussed in those uh, those updates. But Kunatori is still a channel partner of mine. And for that, I am eternally grateful. I will continue to do updates as soon as there is something to update you on. Hopefully, you're all looking forward to that. And if you're new to this, go to the main KTO page, which, of course, I'm going to leave all the links down in the description below. And hopefully, you guys will join me on the next update here in the near future. You guys all have a great night.